Today, I'm gonna to be checking out a Harley Benton acoustic guitar. Now, I've reviewed a lot of acoustic guitars on this channel, definitely with these features, but always at almost double the price. So this guitar is a solid Sitka spruce top with active electronics. So let's check it out and see what is in it. Now, a couple things I wanna tell you about Harley Benton. Their packing is not very good. <laughs> it seems like everything that came here has damaged packaging and in some case a damaged item. The reason I'm telling you that is because I think you should be prepared that although you are saving money, it seems like you might be looking at an opportunity where you'll receive something and may have to ship it back and get something to replace it. And uh, you know, just be aware. Okay, so this guitar, here we go. We have an Allen wrench and an extra pen. That's abalone in the pen. That's already impressive, so I wonder if they're abalone pens. Um, not that it's a big deal, but it's a nice little touch, right? Let's go ahead, we can ditch this box. Um, and already I see Fishman paperwork, so I'm going to say, uh, oh wait. And of course, my favorite sticker, the uh, In Case of Fire Rescue My Guitars sticker, which is very important sticker. This is actually the coolest thing Tom's got. Okay, uh, so it has a flat Martin style headstock that I was not aware of. So it's like a paddle headstock, like a Martin. And, huh, I mean, aesthetically it's magnificent. <laughs> the top really pops. I hope that comes out in the camera. I mean, the grain is just really nice and dark. Um, let's see what we got here. We don't have any tags showing what kind of strings they are, but they are fresh strings. They're not crusty or gunky. Um, Harley Benton, there you go. And then a QC card. And what's interesting is this is the same QC card that I see hanging on almost every brand of acoustic. Um, obviously, most companies get their acoustics made in the same factories. Um, this one is made in Custom line, Harley Benton, established 1998. No country of origin markings that I can see on the instrument. So I'm gonna say made in China, but I mean, it doesn't say. It's even got, some people don't like this, but it looks like blemishes in the wood, but those are called bear claws. Uh, that's, I'm not kidding, uh, on acoustic guitars, it's sometimes called bear claws or bear clawing. Ironically, it doesn't come from bears uh, or bears clawing on the trees. It actually happens naturally within the tree. And it's a good sign because it usually implies that this piece of wood came from an older tree. I think they're cool. I always think it like, it looks cool. Okay, wow. I mean, it's, it's impressive looking. The back and sides, the neck, and it is a fishman. Okay, let's tune it up. features that are interesting is it's got the herringbone stripe which is a decal but it's a nice touch it's got binding around back and uh, front of the guitar very cool I love the abalone around the sound hole the top is gorgeous but of course I'm sure that's luck of the draw this just happened to be a good looking top um, the nut looks I don't know 
I don't know what its specifications is. The nut, the, the fit and finish on the nut looks fantastic. I mean, it looks perfect, like perfect. In fact, the guitar in itself is almost perfect. The action's a little high for my preference, but dead on for what you would normally expect to see an acoustic uh, ship with. It's a little, a uh, little high on around the 12th fret and really comfortable on the third fret. <laughs> I think if you got this guitar and you were a beginner looking for that next guitar, like one above your entry level guitar, this is definitely something to look at. I think if you're looking for a first guitar and you want to start off with something that you could keep for a long time, I think you'd keep this for a long time as well. The neck feels great. It feels very standard, like a standard acoustic. It feels very co comparable to the Fender style ones, the Yamaha style necks. I mean, it's just nice. It's a little on the thinner side, which is another nice attribute of it. And the neck is satin, even though, to even though the body is gloss, the neck is satin, something you see Washburn do a lot as well. And uh, so it, it really vibes like a Washburn acoustic. In fact, it feels really reminiscent of exactly all of the brands that you would imagine. Um, the only thing is it even has a mother of pearl uh, HB. And I thought that was nice. Instead of Harley Benton, just HB. I thought that was cool. I like the top. I like the headstock. Looks like a Martin. Tuning keys seem fine. I tuned up uh, really, really with no issues. Overall, though, I'm... I'm impressed. Um, the guitar is really good. I was expecting for this price point some shoddy frets, which these frets feel great. There's no fret sprout. Keep in mind, I live in the desert and I let this guitar sit for one week before I opened it and uh, did the review. That's something I like to do. I let the guitars dry out and that way, uh, if, it, if it shrinks, it's most likely gonna shrink here. There's probably almost no way around it. The fact that it didn't shrink is a really good sign. Uh, so impressed with that. Polishing on the frets look good. I don't see any rough fret spots. Everything looks polished really nice. Again, the nut is the most impressive thing. It's cut, like I said, flawlessly. <laughs> when it comes to the way the guitar sounds, it's not gonna compete with the higher end guitar in the way it sounds. However, this guitar sounds like a lot of acoustics do in the three and $400 range. So given that it's a hundred to $200 cheaper than those, I think it's very impressive. It feels like a Washburn. It feels like a Fender acoustic. It feels pretty much like all the mid and lower entry level uh, acoustics, and, but with brand names, but at half the price. What I'm really curious about though, is if you have this acoustic or if you get this acoustic, always put comments down below about your experience with that. It helps when people watch the review of this video. And as always, I want to thank you for supporting this channel by subscribing, give it a thumbs up, checking out the merch store or becoming a patron. All those things help this channel grow and I appreciate that. And until next time, know your gear.